Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today, and today I want to talk to you about some tips for working with one of my favorite fabrics, Rayon Shelly. Now, I've got some different Rayon Shelly in front of me. Rayon Shelly is a woven fabric that is made of rayon. It is very fluid. The top that I'm wearing is also made of Rayon Shelly, so it's got beautiful drape and it's also lightweight and breathable. And because I live in a hot climate, this is a great fabric. So here are some tips for working with it because sometimes working with it can be tricky, especially if it's your first time. Tip number one, pre-wash your fabric. Especially the older types of rayon, when it was first developed, they were really prone to shrinking and wrinkling. And this one here has been sitting, both of these actually, have been sitting in my closet wrapped around a fabric board just in my yardage for a while. You can see it does hold wrinkles. This is definitely not as bad as some of the earlier rayons. I haven't really lost a lot to shrinkage, but I do recommend all fabrics, not just rayon, going ahead and pre-washing them if you're going to be turning them into a garment. So wash them the way you plan to wash the garment. And in my case, it means I wash on cold and then I tumble dry low and then I feel like any shrinking or anything that was gonna happen happens to the fabric then and not after I make my garment. Tip number two, if you're going to pre-wash, rayon frays a lot. So you have to finish the edges. For washing, I just go ahead and serge right down the raw edges. You don't have to worry about the selvage edges, but the raw edges, you definitely want to do something to finish them. If you don't have a serger, another option to finish the edges would be to fold your fabric, match up those raw edges, and then sew them together right as close to the edge as you can. What will happen then is when you wash it, any fraying that happens will only fray to that stitching line and then you can cut it off and you'll have your single layer of washed fabric. Next, because it does hold some wrinkles, I've got tip number three, use starch. So after I wash my rayon, I go ahead and fold it up on a board, put it in my fabric stash, but once I decide I want to use it, I have a pattern picked out and I'm going to cut it out. I don't like to cut it out of wrinkled up fabric. And as we see, it does hold the wrinkles. Also, rayon can tend to be kind of shifty. Like it doesn't um, always want to lay straight on the grain. So my trick is I iron it in a single layer with starch. I put quite a bit of starch, and I do this right before I'm going to cut it out. So I do quite a bit of starch, and I press the iron up and down. Don't drag it, because that'll help you drag the um, weave out of alignment. So press it with a lot of starch. That'll give it some good body, and then it makes it easier to handle for cutting out, in addition to getting rid of all the wrinkles so that that doesn't mess up your pattern pieces. Tip number four. Consider your pattern choice. So this Valletta top pattern that I am wearing is made of rayon shelly, and you can see how I like how it drapes here at the neckline. If you didn't want something to drape like that, if you wanted something more structured to stand up, rayon is not a good choice. Rayon is a great choice for things that are going to need to be gathered, things that are kind of loose and free form, anything that is gonna be closely fitted and structured Rayon just really isn't going to want to do that. So don't make the fabric do what it doesn't want to do. Choose your patterns carefully. Number five, when you're ready to cut, consider using a rotary cutter. So you might, I prefer to use dressmaking shears almost all the time, including with rayon. But when you're pinning out your pattern and you're using scissors, you have to lift slightly to get the scissors to cut under there. With a rotary cutter, you don't have to lift. And actually, this is a quilting one. I would use a smaller one if I was cutting out garments. But you can just leave it flat. You don't have to move the fabric at all. Trace your pattern out with the cutter. Cut it like that. Tip number six. On cutting, you may also want to consider cutting it in a single layer. So sometimes it's really hard to get your rayon to behave and to fold on a grain line, and you may not see that something underneath shifted. So you want to consider 
cutting on a single layer. And that may mean that if it's a pattern piece that's cut on the fold, that you need to flip it and trace it so that you have a whole layer piece to cut out. Or if it's two that you need to cut, remember that if you're not cutting on a fold, you need to lay it down and then you need to flip it over so that you'll get your mirror imaged pattern pieces. Tip number seven, consider changing your needle size. So this is one of the cases where I would definitely go down to a smaller needle than what I normally use. Normally I would sew with like an 80-12 universal needle on just about everything. For rayon, a lot of times, because it is fairly tightly woven and it is very lightweight, I might consider changing down to a 75 or 70-10 needle. And I might even go to a sharp needle instead of a universal needle. Now, I still often sew with universal needles and rayon, but it's a good idea to test on a scrap. If you're getting snags, go to the sharp needle instead of the universal type. You also want to keep that in mind with pins and use thin pins. Now, I use very thin pins for whatever I do just because those are my preferred pins. But if you are used to using thicker, stronger pins, you might want to find some thinner pins to use with rayon. Tip number eight. Reduce your stitch length when you're sewing. So in general, the thinner the fabric that you are sewing with, the finer the fabric, the shorter the stitch length you want to use. And so with rayon, you might consider shortening your stitch length. Tip number nine, reduce your presser foot pressure. If your machine has the option to reduce the pressure on the presser foot, you might want to take it down. Because it is a thinner fabric, it does not need as much pressure to be pulled through the feed dogs. And that pulling, if you put a lot of pressure, may actually give you wonky seams as the, it stretches the fabric and the weave out of alignment as you are stitching. And finally, tip number 10, hang your garment up, preferably overnight, before you hem it. So you can see I've got a little baby rolled hem on what I am currently wearing. And on this shirt, I did hang it up overnight, um, probably more than a few nights because I did not finish this shirt in one day. But go ahead and hang it up so that if there's any weird wonkiness um, in the cutting or in the stitching of it, that that'll have the ability to kind of work its way out and you can even up the hem and then hem it. So. Those were 10 tips for sewing rayon chalet. It's really not a hard fabric to sew and it's also generally can be found at very affordable prices. So it's worth getting a little extra and experimenting if you've never done it before so that you can be a sewing pro.